Hey guys, Flaming Shark. Uh, this is gonna be before the reaction part of the video. I'm recording this after the fact. I just want to say, uh, support the original work. Uh, link will be down below in the description to the original uh, episode on YouTube. And uh, yeah, support Vivzy Pop, Vivian Medrano, and the Has Been Hotel team because they put together an incredible pilot. Um, I enjoyed this so much. I think you guys will really enjoy the reaction. It was awesome. Uh, so check them out. I also have a link to her Patreon if you want to support monetarily. Um, and yeah, also I will be reacting my hell of a boss reaction January 7th. So if you guys, before you even say react to hell of a boss, January 7th, hell of a boss reactions coming out. That should be really fun as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, as far as their Christmas short film, I don't know if I'm going to do that, and if I do, it'll probably be later on, but Hell of a Boss is coming on the 7th, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to Has Been Hotel. Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video, today giving you guys another blind commentary, blind reaction, and it is the final day of 2019, if you guys remember on the final day of 2018, I started watching Hunter x Hunter 2011. And, yeah, it was like a meme that I, I said I was going to do it in 2018. I was going to start Hunter x Hunter in 2018, and I ended up starting it on the last day of the year. Um, and I have not started a single show since. I've, I've done a lot of coming back to shows that have gotten new content or whatever. Infinity Train, I technically don't count as starting because I did the pilot already, which I count as starting it. Um, so this is going to be on the final day of 2019, just like on the final day of 2018, I am starting a series. And also, it keeps up the trend of having started a new series every year. I can't let that die. Uh, so here we are on the final day of 2019, and we are starting, and for the time being also concluding, Has Been Hotel. So obviously people have been raving about this since um, um, this was dropped on YouTube a while ago? It's been out for a while. I want to say it dropped around Halloween, which makes sense, uh, given that I assume it has kind of like those type of vibes. I don't know anything about this show other than it's uh, a bit NSFW, like it's more, um, it's an adult themed show. I don't necessarily know specifically what that means. I imagine there's a lot of strong language. Um, I don't really know, though. I just know that it is um, adult themed and stuff. So that should be really exciting because I'm all about uh, shows like that, which aren't kind of bound by limitations of that. Not to say that there's anything wrong with having a show that doesn't have that stuff, but, you know, I'm all about it. I'm all about the adult-themed cartoons. Um, so this is an interesting project. I haven't done a lot of research on this yet simply because I don't want to be spoiled, but I heard about this, I want to say, two years ago. It was a while back. I remember hearing about Has Been Hotel when it was kind of in its, you know, more early stages. And um, I remember, you know, I think she was probably, uh, she being Vivian, it's Vivian Medrano, if I'm not going insane, that's the name of the creator of this series. Um, I believe her YouTube channel, uh, it's like Vizzy Pop or something, I forget the exact name of the YouTube channel, but uh, that's where this is uh, officially released. And um, yeah, you know, Vivian started posting stuff about kind of the series and like concept art, I'm sure, and other stuff like that. And I heard about some stuff about it for a while. I know a few people were talking about it, whatever. That, um, And then I didn't really hear about it again until it came out. So I had this vague kind of recollection of hearing about this uh, series back when it was uh, way, way before the stage where we would be getting an official half an hour pilot, which by the way, this pilot's half an hour, holy shit, like it's a legitimate 31 minutes, because obviously YouTube video, so you know, it's not like we're counting a 22 minute with the eight minutes of ads or anything like that. This is a legitimate half an hour, which is insane. Um, I'm really excited for this, though, because I feel like it's been a very long time since I've done a kind of what I would consider an indie project, so like a YouTube project that um, just everyone's been super high on and it's just been this big kind of buzz around it. Like the animation world's been buzzing about this pretty much ever since it came out. And I'm really excited for this. And um, 
Yeah, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun, but I don't, I know what this one girl who I assume is the main character looks like, and I don't really know anything else beyond that, but I can't wait to see it because I know that, um, this, this series has had so much support and there was a lot of time and effort and, uh, cha-ching that was put into this. So I hope it looks, it feels, and just generally is everything that it's kind of been hyped up to be. Cause I admittedly have some hype for this show, despite not really knowing what's up. The name has been Hotel. Sounds like, you know, like people that have hit hard times or whatever, a hotel for them. It reminds me, like, my immediate thought, again, because the animation comparison is Hotel Transylvania. Uh, that's the immediate thought that jumps in my mind, but we'll have to see what it's like. Um, I've seen the design of who I assume is the main character, and if that is her design, she looks fucking amazing. And I can't wait to see her in all her glory. Uh, but no, as far as like plot or really anything about this, aside from what the one girl looks like and the fact that this is adult like themed, uh, I really don't know anything about this. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm really into anytime we get a project like this, it's really fun. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen this by now. I feel like I want to say this has some stupid amount of views already. Like I want to say it's like, at least like 20 million or something absurd. I don't know if it's that high. Maybe I'm over remembering it. I feel like it's insane how many people have watched this already. Um, Cause I'm watching this on Christmas Eve. You guys will be getting it on New Year's Eve though. Um, so yeah, this should be really fun. Um, so let's see what Vivian and the has been hotel crew have in store for us. I know the living tombstone, I believe was one of the people who worked on the the music and sound for this show, which obviously being someone who is a huge fan of MLP, um, you know, Living Tombstone obviously was a big musician in that community and has continued to be, uh, you know, a really cool musician on YouTube. Um, I don't know, and other platforms, of course. I don't know, I remember something about him and like one or two others that I think are working on the sound related stuff or music stuff anyways for this show. So I don't know if that means there's going to be lyrical songs in the show, which I'm all about, um, especially, um, but I don't know. We'll see. I really just don't know. And I probably should just jump in and take this. So I might pause a decent bit. I'm not sure. Um, you know, it usually depends show to show, whether I just kind of watch things all the way through or I pause in the middle but because I have no fucking clue what's going on, I've never seen this before, I think there's a good chance I'm going to pause a lot to just discuss and maybe talk theory or whatever. Also, again, because this is an indie project and everything and, you know, how long this took and all that stuff, I, I fully expect us not to get another episode of this until probably late 2020. Um, I have no idea. I don't know. But I also don't know the specifics of what uh, Vivian and the crew are doing with the show, so... I'm not in the loop yet because of spoilers, because I wanted to stay away from spoilers, but I will get in the loop. Um, and also, before anyone requests it, I'm aware of Hell of a Boss. I will probably do it eventually. I have no idea when, but uh, especially if this is really good, I will definitely check that out as well. That's a lot shorter, too. That's only like a 10-minute episode, whereas this is a fucking half an hour, which is crazy. Anyways, the Has Been Hotel pilot will commence in... You do a five count? Let's do a five count. Five, four, three, two, one, and play. Spindle Horse. Is that what they're calling the, uh, is this like a movie in the show or is this the intro to the show? The end of the rainbow, there's happiness. Whoa, okay. Ooh. And my dreams have all been denied. We got some, um, oh god, pentagrams and shit. Why have I always been a failure? Damn. What can the reason be? Interesting. I wonder if the world's to blame. I wonder if this is awesome. Jesus! I'm Whoa! Chasing okay, one, fuck you, heaven. 
Whoa! I didn't want to... Oh, shit, dude. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. Jesus Christ! This looks incredible! Okay, okay, we're running it back. We're running it back. I can't interrupt the song. Let's go. I'm sorry for that, but I... Because I kind of want to hear this song in its entirety, but holy shit, what the fuck. I was not ready for it to look that good. Like, this part already looks incredible, but... Yep. But my life is a race, just a wild goose chase, and my dreams have all been denied. I can already tell this is going to be my next infinity train in terms of pilots. That is such a cool shot. I'm always chasing rainbows, watching clouds. Is this supposed to be hell? The days are numbered. My Welcome to hell! Just like all my oh. dreams ending in the Whoa, that design. Holy shit! Porn Studios! Oh my god. Wow. Lots of death out here. Always chasing rainbows. Always chasing rainbows. Holy shit, she's cute. Cleanse. So is it like the purge? Welcome to the Has Been Hotel. I'm gonna assume the cleanse is like the purge. Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. No, you're not. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks for the fun time, hot stuff. Yeah, 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 listen. Keep this discreet, you hear me? I can't let it get out I'm offering my services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. You got it? <laughs> Whatever you say, slut. <laughs> Damn! Ouch, ooh, <laughs> such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. Tell the missus I said hi. Get wrecked. Back up. Damn. Boom on my head. Yeah, all that guy had was slut. Also, this audio is so loud in my ear, I'm gonna have to edit this down a shit ton. Yoink! Hey! A furious drag show! What the fuck is this world? Oh my god! It's ruined. My drugs! My Damn drugs! If drug vending machines, that's awesome. The power of my machines are unmatched. We'll see and about that. Demon can compare to the likes of I. Gee, we will see. That was pretty swell, boss. Yeah. You really showed them what for. I liked when you shot them with your ray gun. I wish he'd shoot me with his ray gun. Wow, depression intensifies. I will seize control of the entire west side of the pentagram by day's end. Wow, it's literally and called nothing, the pentagram. Not a single beast in this inferno of suffering will be able to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp. Oh, boy. Hell will be mine, and everybody will know the name of Sir Ben Lord. Pardon? Who said that? She didn't say Edgelord. What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Fried chicken Wake fetuses? Up. That wasn't us, Mr. Boss Man. Is this gonna be the girl? Yeah, this is gonna be the girl. You looking for a fight? 
old. No, it's not. Why don't you Never get mind. that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf <laughs> before I smash it? More. More. Oh, you want to go, Missy? Well, I'm yeah, happy to Yeah, she wants to, to go. <laughs> six, six, six news, of course. I'm Katie Killjoy. And Katie I'm Killjoy. Tom Trench. Tom Trench. Out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpins. Hello, back to hell, but when they at the end, that's a word young people seem to enjoy Sherry using. Bob. I don't really like it. Right, I wrote Tom. it because it seemed like After an extra kind of fun to me. Many areas are not <laughs> <for trade. laughs> Demons all God damn it. are already duking it out to gain new time. I love when shows do that Most with the news on the bottom. Going at it, huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. Yes, they are. <laughs> like nail her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you are I couldn't get off unless she licked my foot. What should I say? <laughs> no, dear. Coming up next, we have an exclusive <laughs> interview with the daughter of Hell's own head hunt. Oh my god. I can't handle the fucking... There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh, so she's the princess of hell. She's the daughter of the devil? Question mark? Ancho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. All that Interesting. Is after the break. Suck it up, you little bitch. <laughs> Suck it up, you little bitch. Okay, you remember what to say? Oh, she's cute. Yes, let's do this. Just look at me and I'll mouth it to you. Come on, Vaggy. I know what to Vaggie? say. Vaggy? I just feel like we need to, I don't know, make things sound more exciting. Oh, what if I sing? sing a song about it? You knew I was gonna say that. Because I know you. But please don't sing. Yeah, please don't. Serious. Well, you know, I'm better at expressing myself and my goals through song. But life isn't a musical, hun. That is true. I, but I have these other ideas. But you're gonna to sing. sing a lot. The highlighted bits are the best parts. Uh, it's all highlighted. Is this a drawing? She's giving yeah, me a lot of Star Butterfly vibes. <laughs> smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that simple. Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay. Oh, you better not I... sing, girl. I'll just half the result to my impeccable improv skills. Impeccable improv skills. Hi, I'm Charlie. Charlie, I'm that's your name. Joy. Jesus, you it are a killjoy. Like you, but that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I, I don't touch the gaze. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! How's that working out for you? Look, my time is money. So oh, okay, is so is that her You're like girlfriend, Charlie's you. girlfriend? You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. Damn. You might be no cannibal cooking. Shot, but that doesn't mean shit to me. Jesus. Too rich and too influential to give a blind fuck. <laughs> Some tusk-wearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. Oh, I will fucking bury you. Oh, Charlotte. <laughs> it's Charlie. Whatever. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie. This new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well... <clears throat> As most of you know, I was born here in hell, and growing up, I always tried to see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We, yep. we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. So, I've been thinking, isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Interesting. ...redemption? Well, I think yes. So that's what this project aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen... Interesting. Opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. Interesting. That's the has been hotel and nobody gives a fuck. You know, cuz hotels are for people passing through temporarily. <laughs> Is this girl for real? Yeah, she's for she real. She's she opening a has been hotel. She <laughs> oh, she's nuts. I figured she is pretty nuts. Purpose. A place to work towards redemption. <laughs> that fucking smile. Damn. You don't Look, fuck with every her. Every single one of you has something good deep down inside. 
I know you do. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh, oh no, here we go. What the fuck? Immediately go to song. I have a dream. I'm here to tell about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes, it's one of a kind. Right here in hell. Hate a <laughs> right here in hell. Nice. Inside of every demon is a rainbow. Inside every sinner is a shiny smile. Nice. Inside of every creepy <laughs> angel and maniac is Jesus. a jolly happy cupcake loving child. Hey. Jesus. <laughs> All the horrible people. <laughs> Love and fun. Jesus. Dude, I love her design when she goes full demon. Aww. What on <laughs> And before that becomes the OP. Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was it. shit. That was shit! Wow! I was not ready for that. I'm sorry. What? God damn. What in the nine circles? Of hell, would give two shits about becoming a better person. <laughs> Damn. You have no proof that this little experiment even works. You want people to be good just because? Well, we have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Oh, and who might that be? Oh, just someone named. Angel Dust? The porn star? You fucking would, Tom. Hey, <laughs> you fucking would, Tom. In any case, that's not even an accomplishment. I'm sure you can get that hooker to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Damn. To differ, he's been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Breaking news. Uh oh. Oh we no. Oh and no. A new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit indeed. Oh, yeah, it yeah. Looks like the one that who just won the battle is none other than porn actor Well, Angel okay. Dust. What a juicy that picture. coincidence. You must feel really stupid right now. <laughs> Ratings. Ratings. Oh, look at this. Nothing like well, jazz it hands. Sure looks like your little project is dead on arrival. Tell us. How does it feel to be such a total failure? <laughs> yeah, well, how does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Bitch! No! <laughs> Oops. Oh. Holy shit! Hey, thanks for the backup, Angie. <laughs> you kidding? This is the best action I've seen in ages. Where you been anyway? I thought you up and died or some shit. Oh, I wish. I've been staying at this crappy hotel on the other side of town. Some broads are letting me stay rent free if I play nice. Ah. <sighs> you know, I'll fight. Dude, why do I get the feeling We're that fucking um, we Charlie is going to literally kill this guy? Bitches are no fun. Been clean for two weeks. Holy shit. Well, sorta of clean. <laughs> yeah, you've still been. What a shitload of Bolivian marching powder. Yeah, you've still been fucking. Oh, harder, daddy. <laughs> Son. Harder, daddy. Wow. You actually fucking what the fuck? You whores have no class. In war, the side remembered is the side with the most style. Or the side that ain't dead. I don't know. This girl's got more style than you, anyways. Alive or something? Oh well, that's none of your goddamn business. Now is it? I think it is our goddamn business. The top and you the bottom. Hey, get fucked. Literally, get it. To blow you to bits. Kinky. Oh, not it like is that. kinky. <laughs> and you got pussy in the background. 
<laughs> Not so cocky now, are we? You know, <laughs> you really gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. Yeah, I know, you're I cocky don't now. I've been sex jokes the whole time. <laughs> and it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sex. So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Eh, what's one little brawl gonna cause? <laughs> oh, a lot. Why anyone help me? <laughs> Glad you haven't changed. You know you're my favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar tits. You know it, sugar tits. Born ready, baby. Those two are a good match. So is it called the Happy Hotel? Dude, she is what? fucking... What? What? What were you doing? I owed my girl buddy a solid. Isn't that a redeeming quality? Helping friends with stuff? Not with turf wars that result in territorial genocide. Eh, yeah, so that's not good. A few hundred. <laughs> it wasn't that bad anyway. Seriously, stop. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm, I feel like I am Come literally on, this girl. I had to. My credibility was on the line. I mean, what kind of reputation would I have if people found out I was trying to go clean? It just throws out my entire persona. Your credibility? What about the hotels? Your little stunt made us look like a fucking joke. <laughs> no, 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 babe. Jokes are funny. I made you look... This one's not funny. Sad. And pathetic. Even worse. Like an orphan. Jesus. No arms or legs. What the fuck? I want to see oh, Charlie Julia. just explode. Hey, now I'm bummed thinking about it. This thing have any liquor? Can you please no. just try to take this seriously? Fine, I'll try. Just don't get your taco in a twist, baby. Was that you trying to be sexist or racist? Whatever One or the other. More. Is there seriously no liquor in here? I'm gonna kill him. Too late, but wait. Would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? <laughs> Sorry, you're stuck with me, bitch. Get used Jesus. To it. Dude. My body Listen, who cares? Literally if about to commit out. double murder. Some ugly freaks. Look around. You got a bunch of fucking Harlequin babies down You're one to talk. A bunch of fucking Harley Quinn hey, babies down here. Flawless. Everyone wants some of me, and I got the creepy fan that is to prove it. <laughs> that feet. was really uncool, you know, Angel. Uncool? After that train wreck, there is no way anyone is gonna want to stay at the hotel. All thanks to you and your selfish bullshit! Does that mean I don't have a free room anymore? Dude, she is gonna lose her mind. Shucks. Hey, come on. We don't know if things are over yet. Try to relax, Vaggy. It'll be okay. So is her name Vaggy or is that short for something? I would love to know how those two met. Oof. Ugh. <laughs> Popsies. God, she looks even cuter to get some actual food without this place. the uh, you know, suit top. To feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Ah, you might be getting through to him a little bit. Oh, you're gonna call mom, eh? Hey, mom. Um, I know I keep calling, and uh, you must be busy. Really. So that orphan thing must have got you, hit you a little hard because you feel hard. Oh, you feel like an orphan sometimes. I don't know if I'm yep. going to make a difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, Mom. I... I think Dad was right about me. Aww. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop talking before this gets long. Love you. Bye. God, that's pretty brutal. I think it's gonna be okay, Charlie. I think... Yeah, someone's here to join the hotel. And hopefully not just a shit on you. Oh no. Hello. Oh. Hey, Baggy? What? The radio demon is a 
at the door. What? Uh, who? What should I do? Uh, well, don't let him in. May I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. <laughs> wow. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why, I haven't been that entertained since the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> wow, that, that was a long time so ago, mate. Many orphans. Stop right there. Gawron equal it better. I know your game. And I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. Pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. Very nice. I would have done so. Whoa! Oh! I'm here because I want to help. To say what now? Help! Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? Testing? Well, I heard you loud and clear. Yeah. You want to help? Please. Loud and clear. This ridiculous thing you're trying to do. This hotel. I want to help you run it. But why? <laughs> why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom. I That's a good point. For decades, my work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless. I've come to crave a new form of entertainment. <laughs> Does getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? <laughs> it's the purest kind, my dear. Yeah, it doesn't get any fun, more fun than that. Passion. After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. Oh, I like so this guy a lot. Does this mean Damp that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> of course not. That's wacky nonsense. <laughs> Redemption. Oh, the non-existent humanity. No, 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 no. Yeah, we don't, I don't have think humanity here. Left that could save such loathsome sinners. The chance given was the life they lived before. The punishment is this. There is no one doing what is done. So then. Why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Consider it an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch I mean, that does make sense, I guess. To climb up the hill of betterment, only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. What an evil bastard. I love you. Right. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way, and who better to help you than... Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with Smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. The wow. Radio Demon, one yep. of the most powerful beings Hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. Fair well, enough. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in Hell. Alistair. Only overnight, he began to topple over the Interesting. Been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Interesting! He broadcast his carnage all throughout hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Sinister In radio times, yep. The radio demon. As lazy as that is. Yeah, it is pretty lazy. Have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him to rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. But one thing's for sure. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery, and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. You're done. Jesus, that was pretty he dramatic. Like a strawberry pimp. Oh, uh, a strawberry pimp. I don't trust him. Yeah, he probably fair. he probably would totally fuck man. you, Angel any Dust. Man. <laughs> no, man. no, no. She's Can't done with men. Me. That's why she's you a can't she's creep. yeah. He isn't just a happy face. He's a deal maker. It's pure evil. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I. Uh, we don't know that. Uh, look, I know he's bad. And look at that picture. Is that supposed to be mommy and change. little Charlie? That one pic in the background? To give people a chance. Oh, that's a picture. Have faith. Things will be better. How can I turn someone away? I can't. It goes against everything I'm trying to do. That makes sense. Aww. Just, trust me. I can take care of myself. Aww. Charlie, whatever you do, do not make a deal with him. Don't worry. I picked up one thing from my dad. You don't take shit from other demons. <laughs> you don't take shit from other okay, demons. Okay, so, now, you're sketchy as fuck and you... <laughs> know what I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, you are sketchy as fuck. But Jesus, what the fuck was that? I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better, so I'm taking your offer to help. On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. 
So it's a deal then? No, it's not a fucking deal. Don't take his hand. Oh, no shaking, no deals. I. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I, uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. Sure. Sure. Sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, he's, he likes it. Cool beans, indeed. Smile, my dear. Oh, you know, you're no. never fully dressed without one. Never fully dressed without a smile. So where is your hotel staff? Uh, well... Oh, you're going to need more than that. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I do what agree. What can you do, my effeminate fellow? I effeminate fellow. <laughs> no. No. Your loss. Well, this I would have took do. that offer. I suppose any I three of the three of them. Actually, any of the four up. of them. As in, sucking their dick or getting di my dick sucked by any of them. Hello! This little darling is Nifty! Nifty! Hi, Nifty! It's nice Hi, to meet Nifty. you! Hi, Nifty! It's been a while since I've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? Why are you all women? Sorry, that's rude. Oh, man, this place is filthy. It's really wow. a ladies' touch, which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. Oh, my gosh, this is awful! No, no, no! No, one of them no. is a guy, I'm pretty sure, I think. Maybe. I actually don't even know. Despite the chest. What the fuck is this? You. Ah, Husker, my good friend. Husker. You can make it. Don't you Husker me, you son of a bitch. I was about to win the whole damn pot. Good to see you too. What the hell do you want with me this time? My friend, I am yeah. doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself charity to volunteer work. your services. I hope that's okay. Are you shitting me? No, he's literally doing no, charity work, not ironically. So. You thought it would be some kind of big fucking riot just to pull me out of nowhere? You think I'm some kind of fucking clown? Okay, yeah, we are almost done. Maybe. I <laughs> <do> <laughs> Maybe. You might be a clown. Job. Well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming smile and welcoming energy, this job was made for you. Obviously. Don't Who else would worry, be my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. Cheap booze. What? You think you can buy me with a wink and some cheap booze? Yeah, that's exactly what. Yep, yep, hey, I was hey, gonna say, hey, 100%. Hey. No, no bar, no alcohol. This is supposed to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind of mouth brothel man cave. <laughs> mouth brothel oh. man cave. We are keeping this. Hey. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck Only yourself. If you watch me. Oh, oh my gosh. My God. Welcome to the Happy Hotel. You are going to love it here. Oh, Jesus Christ. I lost Christ. the ability to love years ago. So, what do you think? This is amazing. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining. I assume these three are going to be like the main <laughs> characters of the group. Oh, he's going to say. To tell. Oh yeah, he, he's manipulating you hardcore. What the hell? But maybe it'll work out. Cause you're one of a kind, the charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys. <laughs> this is great. Every demon is a lost cause. True. Dress them up for now with just a small. Damn, you suck for that. She is going to murder you one day. Nice. Jesus! Has been hotel. Ha! Well, well, well. Look who it is harboring the striped freak. We meet yet again, Alistair. Do I, I think know Alistair you? is just like lol. Oh yes, you do. He doesn't remember time, you. You're not worth this time. Surprise. No, you don't. No, you're not. Ew. Yeah, that's about what you deserve, mate. Eh? 
I literally can't hear myself right now, it's so loud. Jesus Christ! That is terrifying. Pull oh, in peace! Dead AF. Well, I'm starved. Who wants some jambalaya? My mother wants some jambalaya. Recipe for jambalaya. I in love fact, jambalaya. It killed her. <laughs> I bet it did. The kick was right out of hell. Oh, hell yeah. I'm on a roll. Yes, sir. Yeah, this she is, is very concerned. Real changes down here. The game I'll have to figure out now. the names of the characters and stuff. Hey, it's stay called the Hasbro. Tuned. Ooh, stay tuned. The game is set. Yep, Vivian Madrano was right. Yep, writers, script doctor, more writers, production. Gotta love credits. I didn't recognize any names there. Which makes sense. Not an insanely big crew, but no, it's a pretty... No, I take it back. No, this is a big crew for an animated show. That's really cool. Shoutouts to everyone who worked on this. Yeah, hit me up if you want to talk. I'm so fascinated by this stuff. I'm always chasing rainbows. I never dream is a rainbow. Yeah. Okay, we gotta do a little pause here. Let's let's get a uh, special. Okay, these are special thanks. Yep. Thank you to each and every person who helped make this project happen. I never imagined when I started this pilot that it would become this grand or this realized. I cannot express the joy it has been to work with so many amazing talents from all over the connected world. To everyone who took it as seriously as I did and followed me into this crazy chaotic world from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all. Viv. Really cool stuff. Anything else? Oh, yeah, we got a little end credit scene. Yeah, the guy's not dead. Will you shoot me with your ray gun? No. No. Animation is basically not so much a technical implement as the expression of the spirit behind it. To see that that's to see that, that spirit goes into your shooting must be your overriding ambition. Lots Reiniger? Reiniger? I'm not familiar. Uh I'm not familiar with who that is. I feel like I might, maybe I should, but I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. God, that was a long episode. I mean, like, I don't watch. I mean, I guess there's some live action stuff, but like, God, like for, especially for an animated thing, like outside of movies, that's about as long as it gets for me. Um, that's a lot to unpack. I love that though, especially for the pilot. Even if, even if the planned, uh, if you ever get to the point of doing, you know, like legitimate episodes and those episodes I'd imagine would be shorter than this. Um, I think that's fine because this was such a, you know, massive way to get this project further off the ground than it already was. And obviously this, this project had so much support, so many people who made this into reality and uh you know shout outs to everyone who supported this and obviously yeah huge shout outs to viv and the entire crew who made this shit happen um it's incredible you know i have all the admiration in the world to you know really kind of find a way to make your dreams come true and this is a project that i can see all the passion and the love that was put into it and that's part of what makes it so entertaining for the viewers and why this um, this pilot has had such praise is because we can see the passion and the effort and the love put into it, and because of that, it, it really shines through in the quality of the of the episode or the show, whatever you. The, I'll say the episode, and I think that was really um, impressive in this uh, whole thing. I mean, the animation was gorgeous. 
The backgrounds were stunning. The, the voice acting sounded very professional. The, the writing was interesting and entertaining. Uh, like, I could check off pretty much every box of what I'm looking for in an animated series. Is there good animation? Yes. Is there good background? Yes. Is the soundtrack nice? Yes. Uh, is the writing interesting? The writing both in dialogue and in plot. The dialogue was fun. Uh, you know, it definitely relied heavily on swearing, but it fits the theme of the show because it's supposed to literally be hell. I like that. I think it works. I think the dialogue flowed. It wasn't overly, like, ridiculous in its swearing, but it still flowed, and it just... It never felt unnatural. In fact, it felt very natural, so props to the dialogue. As far as the the actual writing of the story, the plot, I thought it was interesting. I thought, you know, it was a perfect way to kind of set up the has-been hotel. And then you also have a lot of intrigue for the future, especially regarding the radio demon. So there's a lot of cool stuff there. You know, we, we set up that obviously this is going to be a show that, uh, you know, is going to be pretty open about a bunch of shit. Um, obviously, we got, we got uh, drugs sex, porn, homosexuality, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. But you got my point. I, I'm trying to say that there's a lot of themes in this that uh, not a lot of shows, especially animated shows, aren't necessarily going to cover. Uh, but obviously, of course, that's the whole nature of this show. It's going to be, it's an unfiltered show for sure. And uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens of this project moving forward. I'm probably going to research this quite a bit now that I can't get spoiled on the pilot. And I'm really excited to see where it goes. Like I said, you know, I'm really impressed by what uh, Vivian and the crew put together. I imagine there's a similar crew on um, Hell of a Boss, but I guess, um, I, again, I similarly, I don't really know. Um, I'll probably check that out eventually. I was definitely incredibly impressed by Has Been Hotel. And based on that pilot, I want to check out... Um, Viv, Viv's other project. Um, but I definitely, uh, especially given the fact that this was like a 30 minute pilot and the other one was a 10 minute pilot, obviously has been hotel is the big project. Like this is the big boy, um, that she's obviously working on and you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm in, I'm in the fandom, I guess I'm in the has been hotel fandom. I'm all about it. Uh, if you guys, yeah, so anything you guys want to tell me about this show or whatever, I'm all about it. I can't wait to see what happens of this because I imagine it's going to take a long time. But also, given the success and the quality of this, I think there's a very, very good chance that this show, that, the, that if, if they found a way to make a pilot this long, for one, and this quality, I, 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 see, I see this happening. I don't know what happening means, but I think this is going to work out in the end, and I really hope it does, and I think, you know, between the fans. Hey guys, a um, couple parts here, just got to make add this to the beginning and the ending of my uh, has-been hotel reaction, so oddly I'm recording the ending part before the beginning part, but yeah. Um, just generally, I want to say uh, thanks for the, uh, thanks, this was an awesome Awesome, awesome, awesome project that uh, uh, Vivzy Pop, you know, Vivian, um, the uh, and the I guess Spindle Horse team put together. Absolutely incredible. So impressed. I'm pretty. You know, I'm all in. You know, in for a penny, in for a pound. This impressed me enough, so I'm definitely kind of all in on following this. Uh, what what these people. Very talented individuals and team. Uh, you know, very talented individuals, I'm sure, but an incredibly talented team are putting together. And there is some other stuff that they're putting together that we will uh, check out in time as well. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, we will be watching uh, Hell of a Boss uh, next week. Same day. Possibly same time. But... Yeah, so on the 7th of January, we'll do Hell of a Boss, so that should be fun. But anyways, um, thanks so much for the, uh, for the great, 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 great pilot, and I can't wait to see what else comes from you guys. So, uh, yeah, 
Cheers. Anyways, uh, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.